Hey guys, it's Lindsay. I sat down today to show you how I get ready for work every day. I am a nurse and I work night shift right now. And this is just kind of my go-to everyday makeup. It's really easy. It doesn't take me very long. And I thought you guys just might be interested in seeing how I get ready for work every day. So if you would like to see how I get this look and what products I use to achieve it, then please keep watching. Thanks. All right, let's get started. I I'm going to apply the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer on my face. I have really been enjoying this primer lately because it is so moisturizing. And I feel like it just really kind of wakes my skin up and makes me feel and appear more rested when and when you're a night shift worker. <laughs> I will take all the restfulness I can get. Okay. And I'm going to be applying the Tarte BB Tinted Treatment Primer in Fair. A little bit goes a really long way with this stuff. I just like to apply this in layers and build it up to the coverage that I am wanting. Today I'll, I want to go for kind of a medium coverage. My, I'm having a pretty good skin day. So this is what I use for those days when my skin is pretty good and I'm okay with you being able to see it completely. But this just kinds of, kind of evens out my skin tone, cancels out some redness and scarring. I had some acne scarring going on on my chin, which you can't really see anymore. and. Just kind of in my T-zone in general, but that is gone now. Under eye concealer. I always go kind of hard with the under eye concealer no matter what day it is because I have such bad dark circles. That's kind of something I never feel like is okay for people to see. I'm never going to be happy with it. Here, my Pixie Correction Con Concentrate and Brightening Peach. directly in the corner of my eye. Here is the area that I feel like is most shadowy. So that's really where I try to pack it on. So now I'm going to blend out that under eye concealer with my Beauty Blender as always. Um, this is like my holy grail makeup product. If I could never use a brush again, I would be okay with applying my eyeshadow with my fingers and applying everything else with my Beauty Blender. So let's really press that Pixi Correction Concentrate into the skin. And I'm going to be going over that with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Chantilly. Do my typical V. Work it over the eyelid as well. Just in patting motions. And let's again press that into the skin with a beauty blender. And that not only presses it into the skin, it slightly absorbs any excess product that's on there and that helps prevent it from creasing. And now once again, as you've probably seen in some previous videos, the Physician's Formula Mineral Correcting Powder in Translucent to set. And I do put this on heavily and I let it cook on the skin as Wayne Goss says and as drag queens say and then I will knock it off in a minute. 
once it has cooked thoroughly. So now let's go in with blush from my Z palette. And this is the Real Techniques Multitask brush. I'm going to go in with Dazzled by Tarte. And I try to remind myself just to tap it on the skin instead of rub so I don't disturb my foundation underneath. Now I know I look crazy right now, but it will all even out. And then on a daily basis, I do still like to just lightly, lightly contour my cheekbones with a very light hand. Now that that powder has had time to cook, I'm going to knock it off with my Real Techniques buffing brush. Just knocks off any excess and blends in. And I always like to pat at the end to, again, pat everything into the skin. I am happy with that. I do need to set my nose a little bit and my chin. Um, and for that, I love using the MAC Emphasize powder. It is just a really, really light skin toned powder that has a little bit of sheen to it. It just gives a really natural finish. And it's pretty much my skin tone. A lot of people use it for highlighting, but I like to use it just to set my makeup because it is basically my skin tone, if you can't tell. And I love this Real Techniques buffing brush for everything. I think I, if I could only have one brush, it would be this one. It's great for blending. It's great for powder. It's great for highlighter. It's great for blush. I've contoured with it. I just really like it. Okay, now that I have everything set, I have my contour, I'm going to do my eyes. I'm just going to keep it simple today and use the Lorac Unzipped Palette. This is one of my favorite palettes I haven't used in a video. Such pretty rose gold colors. And I'm going to use Undercover, which is just the matte baby pink, more like a cream color all over my lid. and under my brow bone. And then take Unconditional, which is definitely my favorite color from the palette, it's a mauve. And use that on the Real Techniques Dome Shadow Brush. Surprise, surprise, it's my crease brush of life. And just pop that Unconditional into the crease. I like to clean up the edges just with a clean finger right along that angle. Okay, and then just to add a little bit extra something, I'm going to take the e.l.f. smudge brush with a little bit of that unconditional and put it on my lower lash line. Just connect it. Darken up that outer V just a little bit more with that same smudge brush. Okay, then right on the center of the lid, I'm going to use Unreal, which is this really pretty pink shimmery color just on the center of the lid 
dab. And that is all I'm going to do for eyeshadow. I'm going to put on some eyeliner. I'm going to use my Urban Decay All Nighter Eyeliner Ultra Intense Precision Waterproof Eye Pencil. I always, always, always line my inner waterline on the upper lash line to help give the illusion of thicker lashes so that there's no skin showing beneath my mascara. And now I'm just going to line my upper lash line very lightly. Okay, and then I just always like to run over the whole thing just to smudge it a little bit with my fingers. Even out any bumps and lumps that does not have to be perfect. Okay, yes, I curl my eyelashes. They can be a little bit unruly. I always try to pull up on the skin and that gets every single little lash into the curler. And just pump, pump, pump. There we go. And I'm going to apply a few coats of the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This is my favorite mascara right now. It does not flake, it does not budge. It gives me nice, long, separated lashes. I will say it volumizes a little bit. It does not make them super thick, but it does make them super long. Like nothing wakes up your face like mascara does. And nothing is more feminine than just long, flirty eyelashes. I'm going to do my brows. So I'm going to start out with the Anastasia Brow Wiz and Taupe. And I just go right in, starting at the arch. center I always try to flick up. I like to just let my brows do what they do and be what they are and just go along with my natural shape. Just extending it slightly at the end and of course darkening them up a bit. So there's the brows, my finishing touch on my look, which is always my favorite. is to add a little something in the lower waterline to brighten it up. And my favorite right now is this Pixie Eye Pencil Combo in Wide Awake. Let's put that into my lower waterline and I'm using the side that says Brighten. And it is a pinky champagne color. And I think that really makes a big difference. So that is the complete look. Um, this is what I would normally wear to go to work. Just throw a little chapstick on and I'm ready to go. I am a nurse, so it's not like I'm going for a super glam look to work night shift, but I thought you all might like to see how I get ready for work every day. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know and give me a comment down below. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel and I will see you all very soon. Thank you.